Hey there, how are you doing? Hi, I'm okay, thanks. Did you mean to send that message to me? Of course, silly. Oh, okay, I'm just a little confused. You don't really talk to me at school, and you've made it clear from the mean things you sometimes say that you don't like me much. I really don't remember upsetting you. You spent a whole soccer match laughing every time I let a goal in. You even made a song up about it and got your friends to sing it at my match. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't about you. Anyway, I'm not really messaging for a casual chat. I want to ask you something. Hmm, okay. If Tom asked you to the prom, would you say yes? Tom from school? Of course, Tom from school. Who else would I mean? Considering you're so smart, you really can be dumb sometimes. There's really no need to be so rude. Tom would never ask me. He has a girlfriend at another school anyway. Why are you even asking me that? Yes, I don't get it either, but Tom likes you. He ended it with his girlfriend. He wants to ask you to the prom, but he's scared you'll say no, and he doesn't want to be embarrassed. You know how dumb and sensitive boys can be. Or maybe you don't. I don't think you have much experience with boys. So... I guess he does seem nice. One time I was carrying a stack of books and someone knocked them out of my hands. Tom helped pick them back up, even though he was late for class. And he always clapped really loudly when I was doing one of my dances at the talent show. Yeah, well, I guess there's no understanding some people's taste. Anyway, I don't need your whole boring life story. I just need to know if you will say yes to him. Yes, I guess I would. I mean, if he really likes me. I just told you he did. I know. I just can't quite believe one of the most popular boys in school would be interested in me. I know! It's a shock to me, too. I always thought Tom had more sense. But it just goes to show you never really know someone. Do you want to keep not believing it, or shall I just give him your number? I guess. Finally! Okay, it's done. Don't blow it, you know, by being you. Thank you, Chloe. You're welcome, I suppose. Just as long as we are clear, I'm doing this for Tom, not you. Hi, this is Tom, from school. Chloe gave me your number. Hi, Tom. How are you? Honestly, I'm a little nervous. I want to ask you something. Okay. Would you like to go to the prom with me? Yes, I would like that. Cool. I'm so relieved you said yes. There is just one thing. Go on. I just split up with my girlfriend. She didn't take it too well. It wasn't really her fault. She was a nice person, but she was very dramatic. I just wasn't that into her. I prefer calmer girls, like you. I know she goes to another school, but you know how quickly gossip spreads. I don't want her to hear I already have a date for the prom. So it might be best if we kept this a secret and we didn't talk at school. I understand. It's sweet of you to be thinking of her feelings even though you're not together. I'm glad you understand. Shall I pick you up from your house for the prom? That would be great. I have a limousine booked, and I already know what corsage I'm bringing you. Wow, that's so exciting. I'm looking forward to this. I was just going to stay at home and watch a movie. Someone as pretty as you should not be sitting at home on senior prom night. You deserve a night you'll never forget. I can't believe this is happening. Me neither. I can't wait to see everyone's faces when I walk in with the most beautiful girl there. You're just saying that. I'm not beautiful. Well, I think you are. I can't wait to see you in your prom dress. Oh no, I, I need to buy a dress. Yes, you better hurry. Prom is in two days. I need a haircut too. LOL, calm down. I'm sure you'll look great. I'll leave you to your planning. If you want advice, Chloe is great with fashion stuff. Yeah, I don't think she likes me much. She's like that with everyone, but underneath, she's really kind. Okay, if you say so. I have to go. Good night. And remember, don't tell anyone. Don't worry, I won't tell even though I want to tell the whole world. Night, Tom. Hi, Chloe. Are you busy? Yes. Why are you bothering me? Sorry, Tom said you might be able to help me. I need some fashion advice. Prom dresses are not my thing. Yeah, it's obvious. Fashion isn't really your thing. I guess not. I spend more time studying than shopping. 
Yeah, to be honest, it shows. What do you want help with? <laughs> Which of these dresses do you think I should wear? Oh, you really are in trouble. Neither of those. Oh no, those are my two best choices. They look cheap. A prom dress needs to be more classy and expensive. Oh no, I don't have much money to work with. Hmm, it's an important night. Tom is really excited. I'd hate to see him disappointed. That would be very embarrassing for you. You already told me you don't like people laughing at you. Well, I do have a little extra that I was saving for college. Yeah, I think you might need to use it. Okay, what kind of expensive dress should I be looking for? Tom really loves bright colors. I know the corsage he's getting you has lots of colors. Pick something with a really loud pattern. He'll love it. Are you sure? Really? You're questioning my fashion sense? How rude. You asked me, remember? You're right. Sorry. Just hurry up and find a dress. I'm busy. Okay, sorry I'm bothering you. <laughs> How about this one? It's really expensive, but it matches what you said. Yeah, that looks amazing. Really? You're sure? It's a very busy pattern. It makes my eyes go funny. Tom will love it. What are you going to do about your hair, by the way? My hair? I was just going to style it my usual way. I don't really think you want to do that. It needs a cut. I don't really want to cut it. I like it this way. Honestly, it's a little messy. I think you should cut it short. Short? I don't know. I've had it long for years now. Come on. It's time to grow up. Change things up a bit. Tom likes girls that are a bit edgy. You don't want to let him down, do you? I guess not. I'll stop in at the salon after I've paid for the dress. Okay, go really short. I think you can carry it off. I can't wait to see Tom's face. He'll fall instantly in love with you and you'll have me to thank. Okay, thanks, Chloe. See you at prom, I guess. Hi, Tom. I can't believe the big day is finally here. Are you excited? I've already started getting ready. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm a little excited. I can't wait for you to see me. I did everything Chloe said. I think you'll be really pleased. I hope I will. What time are you going to pick me up? 7 p.m.? Great! See you soon. Tom, are you okay? Tom, where are you? The prom starts in 10 minutes. Hi. Sorry. Got a little delayed getting ready. I'm on my way. Phew, I thought you were going to stand me up. Silly. I have a night you'll never forget planned. And don't worry, all the popular kids show up late. Okay. But be quick. I can't wait to see you. We have a problem. The limousine has just broken down. The driver said he can fix it, but it means I'll be even later. Would you mind getting yourself to the prom? I'm sorry, but if I come to get you now, we'll be even later. Oh no, that's terrible luck. Don't worry, my dad can take me. I'll see you there. Yes, I really can't wait. Tom, I'm here, at the prom, alone. Where are you? Sorry, I had to go pick up my date. LOL, you didn't pick me up. What? Oh, you really believed you were my date? That I would want to go to prom with someone like you? I'm sorry, I just thought you were playing along. Huh? You didn't actually buy that awful dress Chloe showed me, did you? And don't tell me you cut all your hair off. I don't understand. What's going on? Yeah, you are really dumb. Let me explain. I never really wanted to go to the prom with you. I can't believe you thought I would want to be seen with a nerdy, geeky girl like you. And you're so desperate to please, you'll wear a hideous dress and cut off all your long hair that you loved so much just to please me? Kind of pathetic. You were a game. All the boys had to find the worst date they could for the prom. Guess what? I won. I can't believe this is happening. How could anyone be so cruel? Honestly, it was fun. I'm outside now. Stick around. You can meet my date.
I think you know her. She's called Chloe. I'm leaving right now. Aw, don't go. My friends are having such a good time watching you cry by the dance floor. Sorry you had to rush away like that. I really thought you'd see the funny side. Doesn't matter anyway. I'm having a great time. They just announced the prom king and queen. Chloe looks gorgeous in her tiara. Leave me alone. I'm going to block you now. Whatever, loser. Don't Tom and I look great as the prom king and queen? Chloe, I forgot to block you. Don't worry, I won't be bothering you again. We're just leaving prom and I just wanted to thank you for being this evening's entertainment. Why did you do this to me, Chloe? And how did you get Tom to do it? Everyone thinks he's a really nice guy. Boys do anything I tell them to. It's a gift. And as for why I did this to you, well, why not? You're so annoying. You're always getting praised in class by the teachers. If it wasn't for you, I'd be top in most of my classes, but you keep beating me. And you're so nice and kind all the time. It has to be an act. It makes me sick. What the two of you did was terrible. I've never been so hurt. You made what should have been a dream come true into a nightmare. Well done. You win, I guess. Me? I just don't know how you can live with yourself. It's really not that hard. Anyway, I've got Tom to support me. You're a monster. I'm blocking you now. Hey, it's Tom. Are you awake? Please, don't block this number. I have something important to say. I don't think there's anything you can say to me, Tom. I've never met anyone as horrible as you. Except maybe Chloe and all her friends. And I blocked you. How are you messaging me? This number has always been my number. You didn't block me. You blocked Chloe. She had two phones. This is the first time I've messaged you. I never spoke to you before prom. It was all Chloe. I would never be that mean to anyone. I'm so sorry. How can I believe anything anyone tells me at the moment? I'm so confused. Well, you can check with anyone who saw me and Chloe leaving prom. That's when she took the photo of us with our crowns on. She said she couldn't wait to show you. When I asked why, she told me what she'd done. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I told her right away that it was over between us. I could never date someone so cruel. She made a real scene. Everyone saw. It was kind of embarrassing. She started screaming about me ruining her perfect evening. Ruining her evening. She didn't seem to care about what she'd done. Tom, I just got off the phone from a friend. She told me everything you said is true. Everyone is really shocked as well. They can't believe even Chloe could be so horrible. Although, to be honest, to me, this all sounds like something she would do. I'm just so sorry. If I'd have known. It's really not your fault. I mean, if I'd have known you wanted to go to prom with me, I would have asked. Really? Yes. Really. You're smart and always kind. Too kind, maybe. Just so you know... I would never make you change anything about yourself to please me. That's a terrible thing to do. But I do think your hair looked cool. Thanks. I guess we kind of missed our chance, though. I'm heading off to college in the city in a few weeks. No way. Me too. I'm studying English. Me too. Then maybe we should meet. You know, to get to know each other. It would be great to have someone I know on the same course. Yes, it really would. Great. So is that a date? Yes, I guess it is. When? How about right now? I'm just around the corner from your house. I have some flowers to say sorry. I thought you might not answer my messages, so I was going to leave them at your door with a note explaining. Right now? I look a real mess, and I don't think I have anything to wear for a date. I really don't care what you're wearing or how you look. I just want to spend some time with you and make up for the awful night you had. Okay. Great. See you in a minute. <laughs> Hi, Chloe. I unblocked you. I just wanted to ask you something. Huh? What could you possibly have to ask me? If you want to whine about what I did to you, I'm not interested. <coughs> I just wondered if you really thought Tom and I make a cute couple. Huh? You two are on a date? Yeah, we've been dating since the day after prom. We have a lot in common. We both like reading and movies and romantic walks, and neither of us like you. 
Oh, so you've got back in touch just to gloat. Well, enjoy it while it lasts. Tom is going to college. I'm sure he'll forget about you as soon as he's there. I didn't get in touch to gloat. Well, maybe a little. I wanted to thank you. Thank me? Yes. If it wasn't for you, I might never have told Tom I liked him. Even if we were at the same college in the same class, which we will be in three weeks' time. What? You're going to the same college? We are. Isn't that great? We're even doing the same course. Well, good luck, I guess. I'm sure Tom will work out what a loser you are in time, though. Still haven't changed, have you? Even after all your friends disowned you for what you did, you can't see that it's better to be kind? Even if your plan had worked out, what would you actually have achieved except to reveal yourself as the awful person you are? I don't need lectures from you. Really? You're the one sitting alone at home on a Friday night. I have to go. Our friends have arrived. Your ex-friends, I guess. We're all going bowling together. I don't believe that none of my friends would spend time with someone like you. Actually, they enjoy spending time with me. They tell me how nice it is for them to be able to relax and be themselves without being scared you'll criticize them. Everyone is a lot happier without you around. Well, I guess they were all losers anyway. I'll be sure to tell them, but I don't think they'll care what you think of them. Like I said, I've got to go. Thanks, Chloe. I hope you enjoy college as much as Tom and I are going to. Maybe it can be a fresh start for you. Please, don't patronize me. I'll be fine. I'm sure you will. Have fun. Tom says bye. <laughs> Whatever.